Here's why Norman Fell walked away from Three's Company. Three's Company, interestingly enough, was an American adaptation of the British sitcom Man About the House, which enjoyed a successful run from 1973 to 1976. Some argue that the British original offered a more multifaceted narrative. Nevertheless, the American producers skillfully replicated the concept, tailoring it to the sensibilities of the U.S. audiences. When it came to the cast, their chemistry and impeccable comedic timing were the linchpin of the show's success. Led by the enigmatic and comically gifted John Ritter, the show delivered slapstick comedy and double entendres at the zenith of their allure. The repartee between the roommates was snappy and astute, rendering them wholly relatable to viewers. However, behind the scenes, the show bore its fair share of dramatic twists. Suzanne Somers, the luminary behind Chrissy, illuminated the show's first five seasons with her brilliance. Regrettably, monetary and ego-related issues soon cast a lumen shadow. She advocated for salary rarity with her male co-star, John Ritter, and a substantial share of the show's profits. When these demands were met with resistance from the producers, her character was, rather abruptly, written out of the storyline, leaving a palpable void in the trio. To fill this void, Jenna Lee Harrison assumed the role of Cindy Snow, Chrissy's cousin, for a brief interlude. Cindy's character mirrored Chrissy's, characterized by her bumbling clumsiness as she embarked on her college journey at UCLA. Following Suzanne's departure, Priscilla Barnes entered the scene as Terry Alden during the sixth season. Terry was a registered nurse, injecting a welcome dose of intelligence into the apartment's 201 dynamic. Her arrival completed the trio once more. In addition to these comings and goings, Norman Fell, the actor who portrayed the old-fashioned landlord, Stanley Roper, enjoyed his moment in the limelight. He starred in a spin-off series titled The Ropers, alongside his on-screen wife, Helen Roper, portrayed with brilliant finesse by Audra Lindley. However, this decision ushered in an unintended contractual quagmire. The mantle of the landlord's role was then passed to the legendary Don Knotts, who embodied the character of Mr. Ralph Furley. A zany older ladies' man, his presence injected fresh vitality into the show. Three's Company stood as a show beloved by many, with each actor contributing a unique facet to its irresistible appeal. The departures of key cast members ushered in challenges, but also unveiled new opportunities and dynamics. The show's enduring legacy stands as a testament to the timeless allure of classic sitcoms. As you journey through the annals of this iconic show, consider sharing your favorite apartment's 201 roommate and whether you followed the spin-off series The Ropers or Three's a Crowd. We eagerly await your thoughts and cherished memories in the comments section below. However, the departures of key cast members weren't the only dramatic twists in the story of Three's Company. The show also introduced a new landlord, Mr. Ralph Furley, played by the legendary Don Knotts. Mr. Furley was a zany older ladies' man, and his comedic presence injected a fresh and vibrant energy into the show. He sported flamboyant outfits with bright colors and patterns, and his mannerisms often drew comparisons to his iconic character, Barney Fife, from The Andy Griffith Show. The introduction of Mr. Furley brought new dynamics to Apartment 201. His interactions with the roommates, especially Jack Tripper, added layers of humor to the show. Mr. Furley's signature catchphrase, Not Tonight Helen, I've Got a Headache, became iconic, as did his comical attempts at wooing the ladies who showed little interest in him. As the show continued, the chemistry between the characters remained the beating heart of Three's company. The witty banter, quick comebacks, and physical humor continued to captivate audiences. While cast changes and landlord shifts could have destabilized the show, the writing and performances ensured its enduring popularity. Now, back to the behind-the-scenes drama. Suzanne Somers, who portrayed Chrissy Snow, had a tumultuous relationship with the show during her time on it. Her demand for equal pay with John Ritter and a significant share of the show's profits created tensions with the producers. When her requests were denied, her character was written out of the show. This abrupt departure left a void in the trio, which led to the introduction of new characters like Cindy and Terry. 
Jenna Lee Harrison briefly filled the role of Cindy Snow, Chrissy's cousin, adding her own brand of clumsiness to the mix. Cindy's character was similar to Chrissy's, and her presence brought a sense of continuity. Following Cindy, Priscilla Barnes joined the cast as Terry Alden during the sixth season. Terry, a registered nurse, provided a fresh perspective to the apartment's dynamics. Her intelligence and level-headedness balanced out the zaniness of her roommates. With Terry's arrival, the trio was complete once again, and Three's company continued to delight viewers. In addition to the cast changes, there was an interesting backstory to Three's company. The show was actually an American adaptation of the British sitcom Man About the House, which ran from 1973 to 1976. While the American version achieved great success, some argue that the British original had a more multi-dimensional approach. Regardless, the American producers effectively recreated the concept for a U.S. audience. Now, let's explore the aftermath of Three's company for its cast members. After Suzanne Somers' exit from the show, her relationship with John Ritter and Joyce DeWitt became tense. During the pivotal fifth season, Suzanne Somers filmed her scenes separately from John and Joyce due to ongoing conflicts. However, over time, the tensions eased, and Suzanne made amends with both her former co-stars. Suzanne Somers continued her career in various roles, but also faced challenges in the aftermath of her contract dispute. Interestingly, the world of sitcoms seemed to react to her quest for equal pay. Penny Marshall and Cindy Williams, stars of Laverne and Shirley, secured substantial raises, which was seen by some as a response to Suzanne's demands. The message was clear. The networks were hesitant to grant similar concessions to female stars. As for Joyce DeWitt, she took a different path after Three's Company. She made occasional appearances in stage shows and continued to act alongside some notable names. However, she chose a quieter life, settling in New Mexico and enjoying a more relaxed pace. Jenna Lee Harrison and Priscilla Barnes, who joined the cast later in the series, pursued their own careers after Three's Company. Harrison continued acting in various roles, while Barnes had her own journey in the entertainment industry. Norman Fell, who played Stanley Roper, had his own adventure with a spin-off titled The Ropers. In this new series, Stanley and his wife, Helen Roper, moved to California and lived next door to a real estate agent. While the show initially debuted with promising numbers, it faced challenges when its time slot changed, ultimately leading to its cancellation after only one season. Interestingly, Fell's contract stipulated that he could return to Three's company if the Ropers didn't succeed. However, Due to the contractual intricacies, that return never materialized. Don Knotts, who played Mr. Furley, brought his comedic genius to the show and became an iconic character in his own right. His memorable performance as Mr. Furley added a delightful layer of humor to the series. As we reflect on the legacy of Three's Company, share your thoughts on your favorite roommates in Apartments 201 and your preference between the two landlords, Mr. Roper and Mr. Furley. Your comments are invaluable to us as we continue to delve into the nostalgia of bygone eras. Don't forget to show your support by hitting the like button and subscribing to stay connected with our captivating explorations of the past. Of the past.